All right, um, playing a team like Alabama and and I guess really you played a couple of name teams already when you were out in Vegas, but what do you think of when you go up against them and how nice to have a team like that at home? Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, especially it being the SEC and Big East Challenge. I mean, it's, a, um, it's amazing for, for them to come here and we don't got to go there. So <laughs> we can actually um, get a win here and... And it'll be good. It, it'll set things off because we know that they're a tough team and they, they're they going to come in here trying to beat us. So we got to actually come on our A game as well. What do you think you learned out of the games in Vegas that you can use from here on out? Um, I mean, we just stick. I mean, it's back to the basics. If you stick together through, through hard times and, and through droughts in the game and play defense and rebound, then um, you can stick out any game. I mean, free, free throws played a huge role in the last game. And um, that's something that we got to carry back on, um, in the fifth third arena. Is that something you worked on a lot in the off season? I mean, you've always been a pretty good free throw shooter, but um, then when you break a record like Oscars, or you know, I mean, <laughs> what's that mean to you? I mean, it was it was it was good. I mean, I've been working on that all um, all off season because I knew I was going to get fouled a lot this year. I mean, last year I didn't get fouled that much, but um, this year, me knowing that I'm going to have to drive to, um, to the basket a lot more, I knew. It, some contact was going to be um, drawn, whether it was an N1 um, or foul, and that's something that I've instilled in my head all, all summer. I don't know if the crowd will be back <laughs> for this one or not, but it probably will be better than what you guys have had here. Um, what, what do you? What does that do to the team, though, if you come out and maybe don't see as many fans in the stands as what you would like? Um, I mean, of course, we would love our fans here, but I mean, that's not going to stop us from playing the way we've been playing and and um. I mean, we'll just come out and just know that, I mean, even if they're not here, we still know that they still got our back. So it'll be a pretty good test for us. Yeah. Okay, if you were a recruit, I know that's a while back to think, but if, if UC was recruiting you and you see what's going on with the Big East Conference, the teams that have left, uh, maybe that it might change some more, would that impact you or how would that impact how you felt about UC? I mean, it wouldn't impact me because, I mean, You'll still be playing in. The, I mean, all conferences I think is is actually good. I mean, you have competition throughout every conference in America. But I mean, I love the coaches. I mean, if you have a, a strong bond and a strong relationship within the coaches, then I don't see why that should change your decision on how things are going to um, react and, and how basically you're going to um, play here. I mean, you you've basically been recruited here to play and come and come and work hard. So why wouldn't you want to come here? It's probably not going to affect you guys and who you play in the next year or two. Um, you'll be out of here before you have to worry about that. But is there any long-term concern with the players and, and how this whole conference thing just keeps going around and around and, and what the Big East was and what it looks like it's going to become? Well, if, I mean, it's going to be a dramatic change. Like, we all know that, the, in my opinion, the Big East is the best conference in America. But, I mean, it, it shouldn't change how the players look look on a, on, a, on a conference. I mean, you should come out and want to play and want to beat everyone that, that's on your schedule. So, I mean, if you come out with that same type of mentality that we've been having since we've been in the Big East and, and bring it on to another conference, then you should be all right. But you don't think UC is any less attractive to prime recruits if the conference changes? Nah. I mean, the coaches here, they, they, they make you comfortable to the point where you don't want to leave. You don't want to go nowhere else. So, I mean, that's that's how it was for me. I, I got here and I thought it was going to be kind of tough, but dealing with the coaches and, and having trust with the coaches, that, that made my job a lot easier. How about Alabama? They have good guards, a very good defensive team. How much do you know about them at this point? Um, I've seen them play once. I mean, of course, we're going to watch a lot more film on them, but i seen them play when they was at the Garden. And, um, I mean, they're a scrappy team. They're just like us, and they run – kind of the same offense that we do but it'll be a good it's good because we act we actually practice against that every day yeah. so we have some type of um feedback like on how things are, are rolling with the film they have three guard offense then yeah i yeah. think so i think they do and um their guards is actually scrappy so i mean that'd be something that'd be a good test for us because we know during the big east um conference that's when that's when things get scrappy as well just from what you know is this the best team you've faced so far it will be shooting wise and um, speed wise, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, we we got a little run for our money. Yeah. How tough was it to get back on schedule after Vegas? Five days out there and a couple games, and then you know get back here and, and getting right back to work. Uh, the the worst part I say was the jet lag. That I mean, having to come back like and be able to be tired and still practice has it's been the worst. But I mean, it, gradually throughout the days, you, you're kind of getting better about it and. Um, 
rest. That's that's the the major part. You got to be able to um have some type of rest at home. You can't like really fool around when it comes to um getting rest and and just staying healthy. I mean, you can you can mess around and come out and like God forbid sprain anything. You never know just because of the fact that you ain't have enough rest. You may not do what I do when I'm in Vegas, but I always lose track of time out there. Do you lose track of time? Yeah, I mean, I was calling my mom, and she was asleep. I was like, what do you sleep for? And she's like, what are you talking about? It's like 2 o'clock out here. I'm like, oh, wow, I forgot the time. So, yeah. All right, I'm glad it happens to other people. <laughs> yeah. There's no clocks in 